Hello tangerines from Oaxaca City, Mexico. Where it is Noche Buena, AKA Christmas Eve. We're on or in one of my favorite parts of Oaxaca right now. It's this walking street that goes right to Centro where there's always vendors lined up, people walking of course, and lots of great restaurants. Yeah, tons of people out right now selling food and their handicrafts and everything. It's very filled with color. I would expect there to be more Christmas decorations around this time of year. Um, uh -huh. But with COVID, it's a bit different. <laughs> Yeah, and by the way, masks are required here like they have been in most places that we've been traveling to in Mexico, but it seems like it's not really enforced because a lot of people aren't wearing them. We will be though. Unlike in the US where Christmas is celebrated on Christmas Day in Mexico, the celebrations are on Christmas Eve and then on Christmas Day, everything's back to normal. We made a reservation for this evening, and we're heading there now. We decided to make a reservation at this place called Zendunga Sabor Itzmenyo, which is one of our personal favorites in Oaxaca City. It's Itzmes food, which is the tiny part of Mexico between the two oceans where it kind of curves. It's a different style than Oaxaca or Yucatan or really anywhere else in Mexico, and it's so, so good. So we cannot pass up an opportunity to have a Christmas Eve dinner here. To start off the meal, they bring out an appetizer, which is this very traditional Itzmes concoction of fish and spices and it's really tasty. It's, it's very good and then they bring out these giant totopos. This is only half of one but uh, off to a good start. And I got a drink for 85 pesos. Does it make you want to cry? No, it is called La Llorona <laughs> with hibiscus ginger and pineapple and mezcal of course. <laughs> this is our third visit to Oaxaca and it wasn't until this time that we discovered this amazing appetizer called garnachas and nowhere has better garnachas than here at Sandunga. I had to go out of the shop because I had too much in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but these can be made with various types of meat. I believe this is pork and it's kind of like cooked up and mixed with spices with this crumbly cheese on top and a red salsa. You can put this pickled mixture of cabbage and carrot on top and just, oh, so good. It is really good. Mm. It's just another one of those things though that kind of looks like a sope with a different name. Yeah, I mean, we were just talking about this in our live stream, how there's sopes, panuchos, salgutes, um, the list goes on, picaditas, guarapes, picaditas, picadas, mamelas. <laughs> Well, they're all basically the same thing. However, these are tinier than sopes, crunchier on the bottom, and lots of meat stacked on top. And much more expensive. Everywhere <laughs> we go, they're way more expensive. <laughs> they really are. That's one, these, of, that's one of the biggest differences. 160 pesos for five of them. Can you believe that? But they're worth it. It's just, it's like, wow. I got the dish called chile ajo. I chose it with fish, and it's like fish and red mole. So I'm really excited for this because I love Oaxacan mole. I got this plato fuerte called pollo zandunga, so zandunga chicken. And I don't know what type of spices and stuff that they put on here, but I tried this one other time and it blew my mind. It's the most tender, fall apart chicken that I've ever had. And then on the side, it comes with garnachas and a salad, which I will be giving to Jordan because unfortunately they garnished it with sesame seeds, even though that's not how they did it last time. And I don't understand why people have to do that. Why do you have to put sesame seeds on everything? Like some people are allergic in this world. <laughs> Check out this chicken. Just, oh, just all falling apart. Mmm, the flavor. 
and then I decided to order a mezcal. This is Tobala, one of my favorites. And it's actually my first drink in like a month. I'm not gonna get too much into it, but it's Christmas time. I wanted a treat. And when in, mez when in mezcal, you drink Oaxaca. No, flip that around. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the month thing, I kind of wanted to be a little bit healthier, uh, go down a healthier path, start some more meditation, uh, make sure that I'm not actually uh, dependent on alcohol to get through 2020. You know, the having access to too much wine during quarantine thing, that was getting a little iffy there. But um, <laughs> since it is Christmas Eve, I'm gonna give this a try. That is smooth. Alrighty, so that was a good dinner. Uh, we each got an entree, we got an appetizer, four drinks total for the table, and it was about 50 US dollars. You know what, Maddie? Considering it's Christmas Eve here, I was expecting to see a lot more Christmassy stuff. Like we were just in Orizaba, Veracruz, Christmas stuff all over the place. Yeah. Here, hardly any. That was a winter wonderland, Orizaba. It ignited my Christmas joy deep within. My inner child loved it. <laughs> um, and I do love Oaxaca, but instead of a lot of Christmas decorations, I see a lot of vendors. In fact, of the two times we've come to Oaxaca before this, I've never seen so many vendors as there are right now. There, there really are so are many for Christmas Eve. I guess everyone's trying to make a little extra dinero. <laughs> Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed in Christmas in Oaxaca, but I know this is pandemic time, so I probably shouldn't have had my expectations quite so high. I really do hope wherever you are this year, you are having an amazing holiday season, however you're celebrating, wherever you're celebrating, even if it's at home with family or even by yourself. Make it a great time. Today's vlog is a little bit shorter than normal because we wanted to take some time off for the holidays. Hope you'll subscribe to see our travels and our adventures next year. One more thing. Gong that bell so you'll be notified when we release our next video. And we will see you in 2021.